Tomorrow, the Jefferson Parish School Board will decide the fate of eight schools. Yes, yeah, some parents and students are expected to advocate against the plan to close schools. But as David Jones reports, district leaders say the plan could help students get a better education. It's literally affecting every single person that works here and that goes to school here. With seniors at Grace King preparing to graduate, juniors could be looking at spending their last year of high school somewhere else. They don't give us any warning. They waited until the couple months that we have to end the school. Under a plan proposed by consultants for the JP School Board, Grace King students will be split between Bonneville and Riverdale, and Haynes Academy students would move onto the Grace King campus. That worries some who say accommodations for special education students or English as a second language students at Grace King are unmatched in the district. It's going to be frustrating for them because they've been here forever, like so long, and like the special need kids that we have here. Like we have a teacher that knows sign language and stuff for them, and we don't know if they're going to have the resources at Bonneville or Riverdale for them. A lot of our families are not like the families at Haines. A lot of our families are struggling financially. Facing declining public school enrollment and short around 140 teachers, the district will be voting on a plan to close eight schools in total and build two new schools. If you have fewer classrooms, okay, then you will have more teachers available to spread out to those places where you have vacancies. School board president Ralph Brandt says the plan would give the district flexibility and a allow for a steady decline in the number of substitutes they have to turn to. We're not saying that the class sizes are getting bigger. You know, class sizes, we don't anticipate that class sizes are going to grow. We're simply going to have the you know, teachers being able to spread out to where we have vacancies and the students are going to spread out, you know, to the other schools. We will be able to maintain, uh, we should be able to maintain the same uh, pupil teacher ratio that we currently have or maybe even improve it. I think it's going to alleviate a lot of, uh, a lot of pain there because when we're out towards some of my schools in my district, there are substitutes there. These kids are not getting the right education that they that they should get. Brant and school board member Michael Pedalino say the district would have the ability to implement and improve enrichment programs, things like arts, music, athletics, while saving money on the upkeep of aging buildings. I've been studying the plan. I don't know that there is significant, you know, um, compromise points on there. I think the plan as a whole um, you know, has some very, you know, sound merit. I think that they really need to reconsider and I think they need to take in how it affects everyone in this community, not just the, their selves and their financial intake. Brant and Pedalina both tell me accommodations for special ed and ESL students are at Bonneville and Riverdale and that students will be welcome there. Meanwhile, parents, students and alumni from Grace King and from other schools are planning on advocating for their schools at tomorrow's school board meeting that starts at 6 o'clock at the JP Schools Administration Building in Harvey.